Every now and then, someone jumps into my Twitch chat and says something along the lines of, Hey, I'm Platt and I can hit flip resets, musty flicks, and air dribbles. Is that good? And after a few years of hearing this, I thought, well, what if I just call them out on it in front of everyone? So every time someone said something along those lines, I would say, okay, no worries, let's jump to a private match and you show me. Now, a lot of these interactions ended right there. They wouldn't respond or they would say, oh, I actually can't play right now. To which I would say, all good, no worries. When can you play next? And then they would ghost me again. But today, we have the people brave enough to take on the task of getting in a private match and doing what they confidently say they can do. Which shouldn't be too hard, right? Can I prove I can ceiling, musty, edgeable, ground pinch, and I'm gold? You can... That, what? As in that's one move, a ceiling, musty, edgeable, ground pinch. You said I could prove it before? Brother, I didn't even say yes or no, I asked you a different question and you didn't respond. Is that one mechanic, or is that... Yeah. So, in one move, you can do a ceiling, musty, edgeable, ground pinch. That's one move. And you're gold. No? Oh, my dude, please. If you're gonna spam the same question over and over again, please listen when I give you an answer. Separate? Okay. That's fine. We can do that. Let's see you do a ceiling, musty, edgeable ground pinch. And he is gold. So I'll spectate. Jump in whenever you're ready. He's got freestyle settings. He's just realized that it, there is an unlimited boost. Nice. Okay, I think that was the air dribble attempt. It's okay, you haven't- you have the, the rest of the match, you got time, it's fine. An air dribble, a ceiling musty, and ground pinches. So we can hit those, we got four minutes left. Okay, so... The air dribble, it doesn't look like you have control of it, you're just kind of losing control of the ball. What are we going for here? Okay. Not quite. That's good. Good movement to the- wait, a pinch? Yeah, okay. Like, I'll- That's good movement to the ceiling. It, like... Uh, <laughs> like, it, it kind of just wasn't a pinch. It was just kind of like a- Just kind of hit into the ball. But, you got to the ceiling pretty well. Like, the movement into the ceiling isn't bad. You've got really good foundations there. Let's try a ceiling musty. Because that's going to be like the, the true test of like, can you control your car in the air? So ceiling musty uh, is a little different. Let's try it again. The thing with pinches is as long as you can get up to the ceiling, you can, you can pinch. Like, not in a disrespectful way or anything, but after you get to the ceiling, it's just about, like, landing on the ball. Pinching consistently with power into the net is the difficult one. But, like, ramming your car into the, the ball is a little, uh... Alright, let's see how we go. Is he just going for more ground pinches? Not quite. Let's try... Whatever you're comfortable with, except ground pinches. Either air dribbles or ceiling musties. This is a better... Okay. Unlucky. Alright, you got a minute. Let's see an air dribble. With control. A controlled air dribble. <laughs> Just landing on the ball. <laughs> okay, landing on the ball and saying you can ground pinch are very different things. Okay, well, that's gonna do it for me. We're gonna do this. Thank you for that. Next up, we have someone who just kept going on about being able to beat me and freestyle on me and dribble the ball for three seconds. Yep, I don't know how those three line up, but I decided to do this on his home server to give him the advantage. Grims, you've been going on nonstop about how you think you can beat a grand champ player, even though you're diamond. You can freestyle, and you can dribble the ball for three seconds. I'm down to 1v1, you. Um. 
Holy. Oh my god. He's going to win. His ego is going to be so big. Oh, that's just on me. That was just a bad touch. I just have to play this pretty smartly. 50 50s is just going to suck. Which is every kickoff. Winnable though. It, it is winnable. It's just going to be so hard. I missed again. <laughs> I'm panicking. I'm dealing with too much. Like, I don't even know if. if I don't know what. To, I don't know what I don't know, you know? Like, how am I supposed to read the movement? What if he just, all of, all of a sudden, he's like, in, it's in my net, and he's just freestyling on me. What, like, what if all of a sudden, you know, he's on the ceiling, and then all of a sudden, he's, like, directly in front of me. Instant transmission. Like, what am I supposed to do? No more talk. Apparently, that's just, that's... Like, <laughs> this is the heck of lobby. Oh my god. The worst part about it is I'm not even moving at the start and it just starts moving me forward. I start sliding. Well, we can always rely on that. We don't need ping to do that. That's fine. Bro, he's got that. Oh my god. The, the, the two step. What am I supposed to do? All right. Well, double digits is nice. Wow, wow. Oh, no GG's, no well played. And now he sends me the, the 500 credits, right? Today's video is sponsored by Raycon and they are bringing you the everyday earbuds, which look, feel and sound better than ever. These little earbuds offer a full eight hours of playtime, 32 hour battery life and are sweat and water resistant, which makes them perfect for the gym or just being out and about. I recently used mine while traveling over to Germany for the RLCS World Championship and the battery life was perfect for the crazy long flights. Mixed in with that, you get quality audio at half the price of other premium audio brands. Now, judging by all that, it is no wonder why Raycon has over 78,000 five-star reviews. Luckily for you, school is back in session, which means Raycon is having their annual back to school sale. So for a limited time only, you can get 20% off site-wide plus free shipping. So if you're looking to pick some up for yourself, click the link in the description box below or go to buyraycon.com slash Tanovic for your 20% off site-wide plus free shipping. All right, shot your silver and you can musty. I believe you. I want this to work. Go for it. I kind of already know what's going to happen. <laughs> you're going to get the little touch. It's just going to roll off the nose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so... Unfort <laughs> unfortunate, an unlucky first, an unlucky start. Okay, guys, the sound, laughing sound effect can be used against me, but <laughs> all good. Rough start. Try again. Give infinite boost. Well, it's not like that's not fair. I mean, like, I think you know the theory, but I don't think you know the execution. You know, am I? What I imagine has happened is you've done it like once or twice in free play. Yeah, like, so like, yes, like a musty, but w when it comes down to it, it's not like, it's like the people who say like, oh, I can flip reset and they get the reset and then they hit it and it goes like, yeah, you know, <laughs> someone joins in chat, you Zen right here, but impressive for a silver, 100%. There's a difference when I say like, when people say, oh, I can do, I can hit musties and it's like, if you can hit them consistently, you can hit musties. If you hit one in five, one in ten, and it kind of just, you know, you hit it and it goes pop, 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 goal, then it's like, can't. It's not, you know, you can't say, I can musty flick and I'm silver. If you can't musty flick, and the only one you hit out of seven attempts rolls eight times. It's like just the unfortunate thing. I think a lot of lower ranked players get into the habit of being like hitting it once or twice and be like, I can do this. So, we now have you is goofy 49 You said that you can do a ceiling musty and you're what rank? You're plat, right? Plat 1? Okay. What uh what region are you? I'll make the thing for you. So, we're going to see a ceiling musty. 
Ooh. Honestly, I I think it's doable. After just one attempt, I had seen enough. I decided it was finally time to step in and help out at least one of these brave players. If someone says they can do a ceiling musty, then they must have at least hit it once in the past. So I thought with just a little bit of guidance, they should be able to hit another one. I'm gonna give you the quickest coaching. Right now, you're going too slow towards the, the wall. Like drive, boost, 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 boost. Yep, you're good. That's, that's good speed. That's way better speed. Just show him. Okay, I can give him. I can give you go. This is the last last attempt. This is way better speed. Okay, it's unlucky. Look, I uh, I'll try jump in. Look at the speed. See how you can get to the ceiling so much faster if you don't don't break. Just I need him to get to the ceiling. Yeah, this is better. Like, look. No. Uh, I'm plat one. Yep, yeah, I know you said that. That's not the point. You said I'm plat one and I can do it. Unlimited boost? That's not how it works. You don't get, learn anything if you use unlimited boost for it. You, like, you're not accomplishing it. You can just do it in free play. So, first, let's just focus on getting to the ceiling. Instead of, like, you turn around mid-air, right? Just... Towards the ceiling. No, see, you turn. You turn. You don't need to turn. No, like... You, you keep turning to do that second jump, but you don't need to. Watch the replay. Oh, will he have box mod? Oh, I just got on the wrong goal, so we won't show you. I don't turn my car. I land nicely. I musty, and this is for later. That's for plat two. Okay. Instead of turning, just keep driving forward and, and boosting, and you will land on the ceiling. You don't need to get it perfect, but just try it once, please. Go without the ball, and just... Just try with- just do not air roll the car at all. You don't have to air roll at all. No. Okay. Just do it without air roll. At- no air roll. Jump and just- Please don't air roll. I don't know how- like, just please don't air roll. <laughs> okay, okay, go to the spectate. Watch me. Just watch. Please. I'm begging you. You can do that, right? That same same thing. Or, ready? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna line it up for you. You do this, and all I did is hold back, and it, it, it tilts my car backwards. Go 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 go! Ten, seven, six, five. No, do the jumping one. I shouldn't have shown him. I shouldn't have shown him that one. We should have done the jumping one. Okay, it's fine. That, that's like a good step. Let's do the jumping one now. You can do this, you can do this. Just hold back. No air roll. And you'll land perfectly, and it's gonna be mwah. Let's go. All right, let's go. No air roll. I'm unbinding. You're not unbind- I saw- Oh my- Oh, I saw you. You did not unbind it. <laughs> Just don't do it. In line with it. Drive straight. And what you want to do is you want to in line. And when you land, you want to land on this line again. So you want to make sure you only hold back. Like, uh, uh, down on the analog stick. And no twisting, no turning. Go. Jump. Uh, oh. God, I'm, oh, oh, God. I don't know what to do. Just, we're gonna go to the ceiling. Just look, watch, 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 watch the screen. Watch the screen, you're gonna see, you just do this. That's all, that's all you have to do. Just please do that and we can move on. Please, please, Lord. And with that, I'm gonna say that no one ever come into this chat again and tell me I'm a plat and I can blah, blah, blah. I don't care anymore. <laughs>
So either this dude was trolling the entire time, or we have a prime example of why I'm not personally a fan of one-on-one -on -one coaching. But moral of the story, don't spam and don't be annoying.